Hi everybody and welcome to Tuesdays with Fran. This is Fran and today we have been invited to visit a men's club, one of the most traditional Basque meeting gathering places in, uh, here in the Basque country and in Navarra. Uh, today we are in front of San Saturnino's church, this beautiful church in the heart of the city of Pamplona, where by tradition we say that San Fermin, our main patron saint, was baptized. We are in the street called Jarauta and we're going to be visiting this men's club called Napardi. So let's, let's see if they're opening the door for us today. Okay. So this is a private uh, club. We'll talk about it. The reason why I'm doing this tour today is because I've been asked ever since I did the Rick Steves uh, guided tour uh, that what about the men's clubs and all of that. So, aha! Our host today. Bienvenido a la Hola. Hola. Muy buenos días. So this gentleman that is opening the door for us is Miki Ayestarán, who is the president of Napardi. Yes. Muchísimas gracias por abrirnos. But he says that it's our home. So let's come inside and let's discover the mysteries of this amazing men's club. Muchísimas gracias. Okay, so this place. What are these places? Uh, let me take you a little bit around it and let's talk. So, all of these things are especially food places or they're what we call gastronomy clubs. And as you can see, here we have a bunch of gentlemen having a good almuerzo, the traditional San Fermín uh, almuerzo. And the most important thing about all of these places is the kitchen, okay? Because it's the heart, or the, more than the heart, the reason why we have, oh, Andrea, how are you doing? Why we have all of these gathering places. The thing is that people here in Navarra, in the Basque country, hey, Liz, how are you doing? Salud. <laughs> the thing is that everybody loves to cook. And in 1953, this society was created. It was created by a group, as, by a group of men emulating or copying the gastronomy clubs in San Sebastian. These places, they gather around these incredible kitchens. And the reason why these are only men-based uh, societies is because here, the Basque country in Navarra, this is a huge matriarchy. So this was like a gathering place for the men to, like a man cave, okay? And the most important thing we like is Play cards, have good wine, sing a little bit, and especially eat. So the most important thing in all of these uh, societies are the kitchens. As you can see, this is a privately owned uh, place, and we have all of these extremely professional uh, ovens, and everything is like top notch. Okay? Everything is like super uh, ready for every anybody to come. What we have, as this is for a lot of people. You know, you invite all your friends, you have huge pans, you have all of the plates, you can use everything, bowls, trays, I mean, everything you may need is going to be in here. Everything except the food. So how does these societies work? Well, food, wine, fine, what else? That's right, Jorge, it's like the perfect combination. The thing is that here, what you do is you call your friends and you say, okay, let's get together at the sociedad, at the society, at the men's club. And in these places is where we have all, all the boys, we have learned how to cook, right? You invite your friends, you go to the market and you go ahead and buy whatever you're gonna cook for them. And you come over here and in all of these stoves, you prepare the whole thing, okay? So you bring all the food. Here you have, as you can see, some of the basics. We have some tomato sauce, we have some pickle peppers, anchovies, basic things. We have, we're Spanish, so we have a lot of garlic. We eat a lot of garlic, onions, and potatoes. For us, that's like the basic, basic food, okay? So that is supplied in here. The rest, you have to bring absolutely everything else, okay? So it's really an amazing place where you just gather with friends to eat. The other thing is 
<coughs> sorry, the wine selection. This society, particularly, really love wine. Here they have placed a little selection of the wines they have. So they have Crianzas, Reservas, some Navarra wines, some Rioja wines. All of them are super good. The thing is that what happens is that these societies, they buy the wine directly from the producer, okay? Everything's super well organized, yes, it's amazing. They buy the wine directly from the producer and that way they get a very good price, okay? So, for example, this big bottle of wine, okay, it's huge, as you can see, it is only 20 euros. And when you come over here, what you do is you get as many as you want, you don't have to tell anybody, and at the end of your dinner, you just write down how many of this one you drank, how many of this one, how many shots of whiskey or whatever you had, and you pay for that the original price. There's no extra price placed in here, okay? So you, what you do is you pay a little extra for every guest you bring that is not a member, and also you pay about two euros for each one of them, and that will cover the person who cleans after you, okay? Because there's always somebody cleaning after you in all of these societies. So everything is super well planned. You come, you drink, you cook, and you don't have to clean. You, have, you hire a company to clean after you, which is Perfect. This society, it's called Napardi. Napardi means uh, related to Navarra, related to the people from here. It's, whoops, sorry. Really, it's one of those, it's probably the most traditional society that we have here. Hola, Fernando. Uh, in Navarra, it's really amazing because they are all together or well, the reason to get together is food, is friendship, it's singing, but they go a step beyond. This society, they have, um, how do you say, um, charity part of it, and for example, between there's only 200 members that belong to this society, and between the 200 members, every single year, they raise between 50 to 60,000 euros that they give away to a hospital in Rwanda, Okay, so every year they give uh, to, it's to the maternity uh, part of a hospital in Rwanda. And if something big happens, uh, like a tsunami or a big earthquake, or a few years ago they donated some money for some fire, uh, big fires that were here in Spain, they raise extra money. Okay, so the thing is that all of these men that are here, it's a huge, huge thing. This give back to the society. It's not just gathering and having fun. Yes, that's the reason, but also they have this responsible social responsibility, which I think is amazing. Uh, one of the characteristics of this place is that, I don't know why, all of the men who belong here, they sing extremely well. That's why I'm not a member, because I sing like a frog. Okay? I'm like a horrible singer. But all the men from here, they sing super well. And uh, they have a choir and they go singing everywhere. So they're amazing, amazing, uh, doing all of that. About San Fermín, they, they have a very special moment during the week of San Fermín, which is El Gallico de Oro, which is the golden rooster. It's an insignia that is given to the most relevant Navarre person of the year. Okay, somebody that has been the number one person that year. Uh, sharing culture or history or has put Navarre into the world's place, well, they give that golden rooster to them. We're talking people like Miguel Indurain, who was five times uh, Tour de France winner, uh, Olympian, so he, for us, is a huge, huge personality. I'm a Hollywood director, well, a Pamplona movie director who won an Oscar. So all of those people have placed Pamplona in the world and they have been given the honor to have this Golden Rooster Award. It's just a pin, but it's more like a recognition of a job well done, which I think is super good. And they give it here during the week of San Fermín. So they should have been given it uh, at this moment. Let me, t uh, let me take you downstairs, because downstairs is super beautiful. The thing is that, as you have seen, we are in the heart of the city, okay? And well, 
I told you that this uh, society started looking to this uh, ones that are similar in San Sebastian. So here what we have are the two most beautiful handrails in the world. This one, on the, the green one, is the city of Pamplona with the lions. And on the other hand, what we have is the handrail, the beautiful handrail of the city of San Sebastian, of La Concha Bay, okay? So let's come downstairs and let's discover the other part of the society, which is up there is the kitchen. And when you have a lot of people, everybody comes down here to go eating. Okay, so this is, uh, this is not a restaurant, okay? There are no waiters or anything, it's just friends with friends. Today they have asked me, please, Fran, explain that it doesn't look good because of COVID. As you see, right behind me, I have this pile of chairs and it's not as beautiful as uh, it is now, but due to COVID, uh, the amount of people that is allowed in here has been reduced and they had to pull some tables out of the way. Well, it's the extra effort that we have to do uh, with COVID, okay? The thing is that this uh, men's club, as we have seen, it's in the really heart of the city. And we are one floor down now. And in these old cities, when you are, you find something down, what you find is this. Right now we are in a piece of history. This wall that you see here and all the arches behind, date back to the 1300s, okay? When, we're talking before America was discovered, we're talking before Spain was Spain. This was the kingdom of Navarra, and this was the defensive walls of uh, the old part of the city, okay? Uh, the city of Navarra, the, we had three different neighborhoods. We are in the neighborhood of San Saturnino or San Cernin, and they didn't have very good relationships with the other neighborhoods. And these walls would use to defend from the other uh, neighborhoods. So I think it's super cool. Here what we have are the coat of arms of different cities uh, of Navarra. The most important one, because it's where we are, it's this one. This is Pamplona, that is Navarra. And this is the symbol of Napardi, okay? Uh, as you can see, on the logo, it is a spoon and it's a uh, beautiful shells, yes, and a fork. So it's all about eating. I love this place. Really, it's a privilege to be here. During the week of San Fermin, everybody who's anybody that comes to town, normally they are invited over here. Uh, very famous people has been here. Even Sofia Vergara, you know, the actress, she was here a few years ago. Right, so it's super, super cool. Uh, beside all of these eating spaces, here what they have, it's this lecture or, as you can see, there are a lot of hidden corners everywhere around, okay? They have this reading part and uh, music part, okay, where they, I'm not going in because the uh, Wi-Fi inside is not very, very good. Oh, Alisa, how are you doing? And Modern times have come, and besides playing cards, what we have here, it's a little television corner, which I think is kind of funny because uh, they come and they don't watch, I don't know, what do they watch here, a bunch of guys? Soccer and hand pelot and bullfighting. So, okay? so it's like very traditional things. Talking about bullfightings, we're in Pamplona. Imagine how important this society is that they have this piece of the barricades that protect the runners in the running of the bulls, right? This is an original piece of that. Uh, so I have told you that there are only 200 members, official members who decide what to do or what not to do, okay? Those 200 members will decide who comes in and who comes out. Right? If you want to be a member from here, uh, first you have to pay an entrance fee, which is 8,000 euros, okay? And once you are not a member, because as I said, there are only 200 people who decide everything, once you are part of this, you pay monthly about 45 euros. And that will give you the key, and you can come here as many times as you want, 24 seven, okay? Now today, unfortunately, these societies, because of COVID, are not very, very used, okay? 
So there's no problem with the space, but if there are like 500 seats, you have to reserve a seat, okay? You don't, so there's a website, private website, and they go there and they write down, okay, I'm gonna go this day at this time with so many guests. And once it's filled, nobody else can come. You can use the kitchen, you can use the whole thing, which is super, super nice. And so as you can see, it's not expensive. One of the controversies around here, hi, Anna, is uh, about that there are no female uh, members in these places. And this is one of those things that's like, people like, mm, how come this is so old fashioned? Well, mm, I belong to another society, not this one. And my wife is not a member because they don't allow women either. And my wife is super happy to not be a member. Why? Because women are allowed in here no problem with that, not as members, as guests. So when any girl comes on these places, uh, what we do is they're not allowed to go in the kitchen. They are guests and we'll treat them like queens. Anybody who is a guest and if you're a boy, you can go in the kitchen. Women, please stay out of the kitchen. There's no cooking for you. We'll cook for you. We'll serve you. We'll do the whole thing for you. Okay, so all the girls here are okay with that. It's like, I can go, I don't have to do anything, what a big deal. So that's why this tradition, which is very old fashioned, is still working, okay? Because nobody needs to, you know, it's, maybe politically it's incorrect, but it works. <laughs> You're so Diana, <laughs> come, I'm waiting for you. I would love to host you in one of these societies. I, I love, 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 love these societies. I love coming here and bringing friends and because it's fun. I mean, it's a very relaxed place where you have a huge kitchen and, you know, if our apartments in, Spain, in Europe are very small, we don't have huge houses, so you cannot host 25, 30 people at home, but you can host them here. So it makes a lot of sense to have all of these places where are super, super nice. I want to show you one extra thing about this place, which is uh, part of the old wall of the city, okay? Do you see this beautiful corridor? They just kept it so we can see these columns, which are so extremely beautiful that they are, date back to the 1300s. Uh, Liz, you're also coming? Hey, you better come. I'd love to host you here. So, <laughs> this is it, my friends. We're gonna be finishing here. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's a strange Tuesdays with Fran because it's kind of like a strange time. Normally I do it in the afternoon, but uh, this place was only open today in the morning, not in the afternoon. So that's why I had to do it this time. As you all know, all of these tours are tip supported. So if you would like to leave us a tip, thank you very much. It's on the feed. And I hope to see all of you in here. I would love, love, love to welcome all of you in one of these men's clubs here in Pamplona and learn about the joy of cooking and having fun, which is all what this is about. It's about gathering with friends and seeing good friends and I don't know, sharing love and laughs. My friends, until next week. Oh, by the way, on Sunday, I'm gonna be cooking with Ainoa uh, a bunch of salads, okay, that we like. So see you on Sunday. And if not, next Tuesday, we'll see where we're gonna be heading. My friends, have a wonderful, wonderful day. See you later.